we saw things fairly pleasant throughout the weekend. We saw some passing clouds, sunshine, and our temperatures remaining on the cool side in the 50s. We're really going to see much of the same as we start our week. So as we take that look across the U.S., not seeing much activity for at least us here in the Valley. That sinks the high pressure that has been moving on through. And the activity is now moving through Ontario into Quebec and well across the south. So really the only thing I'll be keeping my eye on this week is this cold front and some high pressure behind it. But the good news though is even though we are going to see a weak cold front move on through, really not going to see much in the way of impacts from it. Temperatures today and tomorrow might be a little bit cooler, but we're really just going to stay dry the next couple of days. So next six, seven days, only rain chance is going to come for our feel good Friday. That's just going to be scattered showers throughout the day. But leading up to it, sunshine, and once we get past it, once again, should see sunshine as we head into the weekend. But once we get past this week and this weekend, though, might start to notice our activity picking up a little bit more. So as we head towards Thanksgiving week, definitely going to notice our activity start to push back in as Climate Prediction Center does anticipate that we'll see above average precip the week of Thanksgiving and then that following week. Though currently 33 here in Wheeling, as well as Carrollton as our warm spot and 24 in Cambridge as our cool spot. So definitely make sure you bundle up a bit as you step out the door this morning, whether that's a light coat or a thicker jacket. And definitely, since we are noticing some frost, if you're parked outside, just give your car a couple extra minutes to warm up and defrost this morning. The good news though, while we are chilly, seem pretty much just clear skies. Might notice a few passing low clouds, but otherwise we stay sunny. That will allow our temperatures to quickly warm up. So by noon, still seeing clear skies. Everyone in that mid 50 range between 53 and 57. By the time we get to 2, 3 p.m., we'll see our high temperatures maxing up in the upper 50s, somewhere between 57 and 59 by the time we get to the afternoon. Tomorrow morning, though, another cold start to the morning. Most of us, once again, in the low 30s, but might notice a couple spots, so we'll try to dip into the 20s, just like this morning. Give your car a couple extra minutes to warm up tomorrow morning. And definitely make sure you bundle up just a bit as you step out the door. But by lunchtime tomorrow, temperatures in the low 50s, might notice a few passing clouds, unlikely that we'll see our temperatures as warm as today. Just expect things to be a little bit cooler for our day tomorrow in the mid to low 50s. But as we head towards the end of the week though, temperatures will slowly start to warm back up even into the 60s. But as that next system moves on through, we'll likely dip back into the 50s. And even over the next couple weeks, likely going to see that temperature roller coaster really continuing as we finish out November. So plenty of sunshine, mid to upper 50s as we start the week. And then the just a few passing high clouds Wednesday and Thursday with our temperatures in the 60s. 58 scattered showers for your feel good Friday before we're back to sunshine in the low 50s for our day on Saturday and for our day on Sunday.